So I just received the Chrome OS netbook and since there are a few of you, many actually, who asked me some feedback, here it is. Um, so I'm going to give you a few impressions. I, I really started using it like for an hour, so I don't know much, but it comes in this box for those of you who like boxes. Uh, and thanks Google Friends for sending one to me that early. So that's the box. Fascinating, huh? That's a box. <laughs> And um, it's pre, so it really is the size of a, of a Mac, um, you, uh, what is it? Not the Mac Pro bit, but the, just the, the Mac, uh, the normal Mac, which my kid had exactly the same. So it's pretty much the same format. You can see it actually, if you want to see it next to a MacBook Air, I can show you, that's a MacBook Air. So it's the size, that's an 11 inch MacBook Air. So it's not big, but it's really uh, thick. See the MacBook Air next to it. Um, so that's kind of a, an obvious, but I don't expect it to be expensive. Also, this is a prototype uh, that they don't plan on shipping. There is no uh, magnet uh, power either. The, then they, they ship it with this, which, is, uh, which are stickers that you put on the case. Uh, as you can see here, I've played with that. So you had all the little stickers and of course I added some seismic stickers. So the box is pretty, um, I have to say, don't hate me for this, but a little um, like uh, clunky. <laughs> not, I mean, when you compare it to this, of course. Uh, but that's not the point. Then if you look at the ports, you have VGA here. You have, uh, and again, it's a prototype. You have, uh, what is it? Uh, a, an SD card and a one USB port, pretty minimal. Oh, and uh, and also here there is you can put speakers. What's uh, interesting is not really the box and the hardware; it's more of the software, the OS in it. So when you open it, you get that. You get a get started, um, and we can look still at the have a look still at the hardware. So if you look at it now, you have uh, uh, you have. Uh, keys, which are just for the browser. See, they replace, so this is back, forward, reload, full screen. This is pretty cool. It lets you switch, um, let's see, here, from a window to another window, from an app to another app, and you can do as many as you wish. So here, if I open this, and I like, uh, let's see, I like tech meme, so I press here. Now I have Tech meme with my uh, tech news, and I can switch just with that from one. It's pretty much like the spaces on uh, on Apple, um, except it's not up and down; it's only uh, on the side. But this is very cool. I really like this. You could have mail on one. You have you can have seismic web on the other one, and um, and whatever you like, really, as long as it's web based. Then there is another. Uh, let's see, interesting key. It's search here. Remember, it's a Google. Uh, it's a Google uh, netbook, so uh, that's very convenient too. If you press this, then you get a blank window with your cursor on search, so you can search very fast. Obviously, it opens on Chrome. That's a Chrome store, which uh, I customize myself. And um, if you go back to the screens, you can see that this um, device is called a uh, CR48. And uh, it's it's built and optimized for this. Then they have a very nice, uh, they have a pretty nice uh, screen. Explain, I mean, a tutorial explaining you everything, uh, like the scroll. So uh, this is very similar to Apple as well. And uh, uh, you have, um, let's see. So yeah, the standby and startup. That's one of the very strong points of this. Is uh, it, it's so it's either SSD or just RAM. I don't know what it is, but it's blasting. It's really really fast. See now I switched it off. I mean, didn't really switch off, right? I closed it, open it again. In a few seconds, you get it back. Actually, it's uh, it's barely. Uh, you can barely uh, feed it. It's uh, it's that's very very cool. Same with an app. It's uh, one second and it's up. Um, then what else? Uh, let's see what they say about this thing. Browsing, living in the cloud, everything synced, nothing stored on this. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a cloud. I really like it. I have to say the first impression is very good. There is a webcam in there too, which I have not tried. 
the first thing I've uh, discovered which I uh, missed was uh, Skype because I use Skype a lot and uh, of course you have Gtalk but you don't have Skype so maybe there is a Skype web base coming but uh, that's something I miss especially for the, for the chat and so on. One uh, little detail here which is interesting is the um, uh, here let's see if I can do this properly yeah you see here the little um, so the battery um, as um, is very long it's basically a big battery it's a bit heavy but this is why so it's like six or seven hours I've not you know tried it myself completely yet since I just got it but it's very long because of course it's not very intensive in terms of uh, processor and um, and it doesn't have a hard drive uh, which gets a lot of battery so so it's great to go to a conference for example you can uh, whatever blog write email uh, for six seven hours I guess uh, the switch to Wi-Fi is very fast as well it doesn't wait I mean you don't have to wait and also very cool is you have a built-in very Verizon wireless uh, see if I disable the Wi-Fi here and now I go back it's it's up already in uh, in 3G see I did, I did nothing and it's already uh, on 3G so now if I go uh, here, see I'm loading TechMeme again, now I'm on 3G, on Verizon, only in the US, I guess, on at least this one. So let me enable Wi-Fi again. Uh, you get the point, it's pretty nice. You go, you go and, and Google gives you 100 megabytes here, we're getting back on Wi-Fi here. You can see they've walked a lot on, uh, on this. Uh, you go back to Wi-Fi very fast and give, uh, Google gives you 100 megabytes per month uh, for two years, if I remember well, and then you can get a $9.99 for a full day unlimited of our other plans, which are pretty cheap and reasonable. So connection is built in, which is, of course, it's a netbook with uh, no, uh, no hard drive, I mean, which is all online, so it better be uh, connected. Then you see here, uh, you have a special uh, menu for just for the Chrome OS, and there aren't that many options different to your own uh, to your own uh, Chrome, but um, there are developers tools, they are, there are, so if you go on settings for Chrome OS, you'll see there isn't that much in there as well. It's very simple, which, which I like, frankly. Let's see if I, so system date and time, you have a uh, touchpad sensitivity, which is pre, you know, like a, a weakness. I, I thought it wasn't very sensitive. Maybe I should try different settings uh, than the basics, what is that? Uh, what you open on startup, your homepage, your personal stuff, uh, password and privacy, sync. So boom, of course you put your uh, Gmail account. Uh, I noted that Google Apps wasn't available yet, but you stick your Gmail account in there and boom, you have all your uh, bookmarks, as you can see here, available, your mail, everything, uh, your Google Docs, obviously. Let's see what this says, under the hood, here, yeah, I didn't even look at them. Uh, and you can manage multiple users so you can lend it to someone, which will be um, neat and helpful with my kids uh, playing with it. So yeah, that's about it. What else do I have here? See here, I, now it's, it's not plugged in and it says 92% um, six hours remaining. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me plug it, plug it again. So it's, it's um, it's really nice. Um, it's really fast to switch from uh, normal to to uh, to being uh, in in uh, standby mode. It's uh, I'm missing a you know things. I'm missing uh, of course I'm missing um, Skype. As I said, I, you could miss real apps like uh, PowerPoint. Like for example, of course you can go go Google Docs for PowerPoint, but. Um, sometimes you actually need <laughs> serious presentations or um, I, I might, you know, Evernote I used, of course, which is web-based, so that's great. Um, I like apps myself a little bit, so I don't know, I need to get used to it. Of course, I like my own Seismic desktop too, but um, tried Seismic Web on it and it's, uh, it's doing great. Um, as you can see, it's right there, actually. If I do this, let's see. Um, here you go. That Seismic Web runs perfect on it. I've not found uh, any issues, which is optimized for Chrome, and it has the notifications coming in. So I don't miss that. Um, and uh, yeah, 
So I think so. Yeah, one one thing just is I obviously open like ten apps in it, which is uh, Sysmic Web, Evernote, Gmail, and uh, it started getting slow as I had opened um, a few of those Windows and tabs um, on my Mac. I used to have like ten, fifteen of them, and that kind of slowed it down. So I guess it probably needs more RAM. I don't know more optimization, but it's com something I'm going going to use like a casual computer you can take anywhere. Raccoon says hi, and um, and it's very solid too. Um, I think it's a pro I mean it's a prototype as well. So let's not be too strong, too you know, too tough on it on Google. I, I can't wait. Is this the future of uh, netbooks with everything on the cloud? It might well be. It might be clearly. It's cool. It's nice. Anyway, thanks very much Google for that box, and um, I think I'm going to play with it and uh, already sent you uh, some bug reports and so on. We're very happy that uh, Sysmic runs so well on it.